Jennifer Borchardt, and this is your Marijuana Money Minute. The state of Michigan began sales of adult-use cannabis on Sunday. People waited in long lines in cold weather for a chance to buy legal recreational marijuana. Now, there weren't a lot of dispensaries open on the first day, but the state's regulatory agency said that $221,000 was spent on day one. Four government agencies teamed up this week to make a statement regarding banking and hemp growers. The key takeaway was that banks would not need to fill out suspicious activity reports. These are known as SARS for companies engaged in the growth or cultivation of hemp. Now, the narrow interpretation of that is that it only applies to farmers. But many in the industry believe that it applies to all hemp producers and brands. Rapper Lil Wayne announced this week that he was launching his own cannabis brand called GKUA. If you're wondering what those initials stand for, well, it doesn't stand for anything. They just like the letters. Suniva continues to spiral downward, unfortunately. The company is being sued by Matrix Ventures, who is claiming that they defaulted on a loan and they want the Okanagan Falls facility as repayment. Suniva says it's going to fight the lawsuit, but they did concede in a filing that they were in default. And there's another financial instrument that the company is also in default on. Now, you may recall that the C-suite has in, been in a lot of turmoil with this company as the CFO and others have departed. Cresco Labs entered into an at-the-market agreement with Canaccord for $55 million Canadian dollars in shares. We have a lot of earnings still to go over this week. Indus Holdings reported revenue of $10 million for its fiscal third quarter. Still, though, they had an EBITDA loss of $16 million. Forefront Ventures reported third quarter revenue of $16 million, but they had a net loss of $7 million. Saul Global reported a second quarter net loss of $51 million on no revenues. Isodial reported revenue of $1.8 million for the second quarter, but they had a net loss of $3.2 million. They also said that they would be rebranding and restructuring its product lines. We have some stock moves to go over. Willow Biosciences received approval to trade on the Toronto Stock Exchange. The symbol will remain WLLW. Jushi Holdings received approval to trade on the Canadian Securities Exchange using the symbol JUSH. They will leave the NEO Exchange. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from a very chilly Times Square.